Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So happy Memorial Day. And uh, we've been decoding REM losing my religion. I know I haven't had as many uh, videos out as I'd like. Uh, I predict in the fall and winter, <laughs> there'll be a lot more coming out, probably more than people can watch. So I'll try to get as much as possible. And I'm going to try to get more out uh, now. But uh, we've been decoding REM losing my religion. Set enough change to set it up. And that happened twice in the song. And we've already decoded it. We've got the letters and numbers to go through. We found uh, University of North Dakota. We connected the University of North Dakota to REM Losing My Religion. And we connected the University of North Dakota and REM Losing My Religion <coughs> to the other 12 for a total of 13 effects that we found potential quantum network users so far. All right. And now we're on simple binary. We've got that simple binary to go through... Uh, the stock market, we got it to go through genetics and medical and chemical and artificial intelligence. And now we're on laboratories. So we used a simple binary chart, A0, B1, C0, D1, all the way to Z. And um, I'm not going to go through the extraction process again, but we changed ADN, OG, HTTP, ADN, OG, HTTP, because it happened twice, to 0110011111011011. And once we hit this overlap, <laughs> going forwards, we can start coming back. Once we hit it coming back, we're done, unless we were rearranging these, which we're not at this time. So we'll get right into it. We'll start with 0110, and that ends up being Oregon Health Authority Cannabis Testing Labs. And right here, and there's your 0110. But you also have uh, semantic integration of clinical laboratory tests. Um, there's your 0110. There it is again. You also have uh, Section 3 revenue codes. Again, we had that before. Think in medical. And there's your 0110. Um, there's more Oregon stuff. So you got uh, prevalence of traditional and reverse algorithm syphilis, uh, 0110. Huh. They deal with syphilis screening. So Section 33-064, this is from Oregon again, reporting marijuana test results. You also have general chemistry, 0110, laboratory manual, Oklahoma City Community College. So there's a college they can hit. So, uh, but if we move on from that, you get uh, 0111. Immunization kits, uh, immunization kits, EK0111, hook, I'm guessing, immunization kits, isn't that interesting? You've also got a uh, amantidine hydrochloride tablet. Um, you also get NDC 01 or uh, 10481 topical liquid L U Luglose solution. That's a drug, apparently. You got an NDC code. There's your 011. 
and that's the same people. Oil analysis, <coughs> water te quality testing, part of a phone number, Mid-Continental Testing Labs. You got that a couple of times. Center for Health, Healthy Living, Purdue. Huh. Lab work. Mid-American Clinical Labs. There's your 0111, part of a phone number. MIT Nanos Immersion Lab. Don't know what I think of that. And I don't see my number, so... And, uh, there's a physics, 0111 Middlebury. There's your 0111. And I believe this up here did not contain the number somewhere. Didn't it? Yeah, this one right here, we can dismiss this MIT.nano's immersion lab. I don't see, well, unless this is the number. Let's go in here. Yep, 0111, so do not dismiss this. Um, MIT.nano offers equipment and capabilities for visualizing data, creating immersive environments. Yeah, that looks special. <laughs> so, um, that's interesting. But we're going to go ahead and move on so we can get through this. Uh, 1101 is next, coming forward. And that ends up being uh, the Diex Labs Toxicology and Genetics Labs. There's your zero one, or a 1101, part of an address. Diax Labs is Toxicology and Genetics Laboratory located in Tomball, Texas. So there's that. You all also got Scientific Laboratory Division. 1101 Camino. Uh, I'm Desald, New England, NE. I'm not even Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm not even gonna that that that's a scientific laboratory division. Scientific laboratory division again. There it is. Scientific laboratory of New Mexico. There it is again. Medical laboratory Tompkins Martin Medical Plaza. One one zero one Sam Perry Boulevard. So there's another part of an address for a laboratory. Uh. Kind of skipping over some of these guys. There's a, there's quite a few. Um, laboratory benef Benefis Health System. Benef Benefis Laboratory strives to stay at the forefront of technological... Oh, boy. I'm not going to get into that. But... Either way it goes through, there's several labs. This was the most, uh, to me, the most interesting genetics laboratory, toxicology and genetics laboratory. And that gets you through going forward. And now we're going to come back and start with 1111. Coming back, and that ends up being, uh, what did I write down? Clinical Pathologies Laboratory. Clinical Pathologies Laboratories, right here is part of an address, 1111 West 34th Street. All right, you've also got LabCorp, that's part of an address too. Clinical Laboratory, so anytime I see those, my head turns at this point. There's one for drug testing, that's LabCorp, da-da-da, Mercy One, Des Moines Laboratory, so, Chem 111 Lab, 1111 <laughs> Lab. So, there's a uh, start studying Chem 1111 Lab. So, that looks like it's some sort of a class. 
So pH 1111 laboratories. So there's a few things I'm sure it goes on, but we're going to move on to uh, 1110, which ends up being Northwell Health Laboratories. Northwell Health Laboratories, part of an address, 1110 South. Our lab does not perform CONVIDS 1984 PRC nasal swab testing on children under five. Well, at least they have that much of it. Anyway, at least they're that decent. Uh, please consult with your pediatrician if you have any questions. <coughs> well, I wish they didn't perform it on anybody, but not performing it on children under five is uh, a start, right? Um, so we'll give them a little credit there, whether we should or not. You've also got uh, Laboratory Corporation of America and part of an address, 1110, uh, for Laboratory Corporation of America in Gulfport, Mississippi. At New Jersey Labs, I'm guessing, njlabs.com. Analytical Chemistry and Microbiology Laboratory, right here. Do I not see my number? That's just... Because that's interesting if the number's there. One, 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 zero. Somerset Street, so it is part of an address, and there you go. <coughs> um, so you do have that full service FDA and DEA inspected CGMP analytical chemistry and microbiology laboratory. Microbiology, interesting. Not sure I'm a big fan of those anymore, if I ever was. Um, there's direct driving directions to the New Jersey Laboratory. So you got a few things going on there, but we're going to move on to a 1001 Tricor Reference Laboratories. There's your 1001 Woodward Place. Uh, Tricor Reference Laboratories is New Mexico's largest medical laboratory. Established in 1998 by the merger of the Reference Laboratory with Hospital Laboratories of the University of New Mexico. <sighs> so, medical laboratory going on there with your number. There they are again. Uh, 1001 Labs, photo editing, floor plan, virtual staging. Staging, huh? Interesting. Uh, Clinical Labs of Hawaii, Laboratory Testing 1001. So they have several Tricor again. Penn Outpatient Lab, Valley Forge Practice Profile. There's your 1001 Chesterbrook Boulevard. So got a few things going on there. And finally, you have 011, and you have uh, 011 is Acon Laboratories, and that's McKesson Medical Surgical. They come up a lot. Um, your analysis test mission. Um, you've also got them here. You're in organic. That's the, the, you got two McKesson Medical Surgicals here. You got Organic Laboratories Incorporated. You got Inner Science Laboratories. Um, and uh, 011 is there all the way. You got Installing Biosafety Level 3 Contaminant Laboratories on PubMed. There's your 011 here. <coughs> Array 11 Chemical Immune Reactivity Screen. Hey, we've seen this before. 
chemical immune reactivity screen. Why would anybody want to be studying that? I couldn't imagine. Probably hardly deals with current events at all. Um, installing biosafety level three contaminant laboratories. We already saw that. And so uh, that actually gets you through going forwards and backwards in laboratories. All right. So some interesting things there. Um, once again, that chemical immune. Um, so studying stuff. Um, got medical laboratories. Microbiology laboratories. What could it possibly have to do with current events? I don't know. I don't know what they have to do with current events. Nothing, right? We'll go with that. No, we won't. It, it, it probably has something to do with current events. I don't like feeling like a liar. So, <laughs> even though I'm being sarcastic. But, um, anyway, um, that's going to be it for this one. We'll do research groups next, uh, followed by technology, uh, followed by, I believe, then we'd be down to random hits, and then we'll move back on to South America. 1500 mile move so for now thanks for all your thumbs up thumbs down when appropriate thanks for your comments leads feedback and subscriptions and uh thanks for watching guys for now you guys have a great rest of your day